He's back. He has time now. He shuffles his feet, throws it down the field, and the pass is broken up. What a play by Cole Holcomb there to break that baby up. He's going to be hit, and Holcomb has him. They put him in the dirt with a little bit of extra oomph. Explain to me what it has been like coming to a new team, but also just being part of a brand new group other than Mark Robinson and trying to figure things out. Yeah, I mean, you know, coming in, you know, they said it was a uh, total revamp of the whole room. Like you said, only Mark Rob was there. I mean, I felt like, you know, we, we were all trying to get to know each other, but it also, you know, we also bonded over that in terms of like, hey, we're all guys that have been on teams before. We've also played quite a bit of ball. So I think we had a lot of things that we could like relate to, you know, be able to work off of and, and grow very quickly. Coach Tomlin said this week he felt like your unit is playing better every game. The splash plays are coming. Do you guys feel that happening or do you still feel like, man, there's so many more things we can do better? Uh, I mean, I, I feel the splash plays coming um, and I feel, you know, that we are progressing and, and but, I, but I do think there's a lot of more meat on that bone. And I think we're, um, you know, I think we're all capable of, of giving a little more, but you know, that's, you know, the competitive side of, of all of us. Do you think the Ravens game was the best performance for your, your group? Cole Holcomb did a great job. You attack the mesh point. You make sure somebody's got the ball carrier. Yeah, I feel like as a, as a group total, um, you know, we were we were joking around like they didn't know who to mic that game. Um, <laughs> you know, it was one one drive. It was you know I was making plays. The next drive it was Quan. The next drive it was E Rob. Um, and that that game was honestly just a lot of fun. The communication is so key at the position that you play. What has that been like as a defensive whole? You know, Minka's in the back. He's very talkative of you guys figuring out how to play together. We all come from defenses where, we, you know, we've, we, like I said, we've all played a lot of ball and we all use our own terminology. And it's, it's kind of like, you know, learning, okay, this is what Minka's talking about when he's telling me this. This is what Quan's talking about when he's, this is what E-Rob's telling me. And learning, you know, hey, this guy, he looks at, you know, he's gonna look at this stuff so I can focus on a different area. Mm -hmm. um, so learning those, like how those guys think, play, um, communicate, it definitely allows you to, you know, try and dissect more from that offense, what they're giving you. Third down and eight, 10th play of the drive, end zone, touchdown, Cooper Cup. What type of problems do the Rams present to you guys this week? You know, I mean, they got Stafford, um, Cup, Puka, you know, I mean, I think I think Sean McVay is a, a great offensive mind, and um, you know they they do a lot and they a lot of motions, a lot of shifting. Um, and Stafford, I mean, everything runs through Stafford. He's you know he's out there checking plays, and you know he's dissecting those defenses. So we're definitely going to have to try and uh, you know try and change that look up on him. For you personally, your persistence, everybody, you know, the backstory of walking on at UNC, getting the scholarship, not getting invited to the combine. Does that come from your dad and the relationship that you had with him growing up? Yeah, I mean, he, he coached me at a young age. Um, and, you know, with him, it was like, you never quit. Um, you know, I was never allowed to quit during a season. <laughs> um, you know, if it was a sport I didn't like to play, you could quit at the end of the season. You don't have to go play it again, but you're not gonna quit. And then, um, you know, he was, he was definitely a person that I would call every day, you know, when I was going through, you know, being frustrated at, at being a walk-on and, and how, you you know, getting treated that way. And um, and then he's also the first one I'm calling when good things were happening. So I think he's been a, you know, a big help in terms of keeping my head screwed on straight um, and, you know, keeping me on the right path. Last important mullet question for you. <laughs> uh, is Pittsburgh more embraceive? Like, do you always get compliments here? Does it just feel like it embodies Pittsburgh? Yeah, I mean, I've definitely, you know, I, I had trimmed it up before I, right before I signed and everybody was like, what the heck happened? I said, don't worry, I'm growing it back out. And, you know, that was, that was Mike T's first thing. He was like, you better, you know, you better not cut that, that mullet. Um, and I mean, I definitely think it's, it's definitely, you know, still steel curtain vibes. Awesome. Thanks for your time. Thank you.